Yo yo what's good YouTube this is Ango and today this is the ninth video we're gonna show you multiple points that are very crucial uh, this tutorial is gonna be very good basically I'm gonna show you how to link a page how to make a carousel and how to make a template page for whatever page you're trying so first off let's go with doing by template page so if you wanna do a new template name you're just gonna do comment and like this template name let's make this post slider for example so if we go into my WordPress uh, panel admin the admin panel I'm sorry go into pages add a new page let's make it the post slider template so let's make it post slider Publish that. All right, let's delete the old pages that I made. Go in that site. Go to post slider, and here it is. So basically, this is how you make the template name. It's that easy. It's basically that comment. All right. So what I did in this tutorial, what I did before, just to not waste your time, guys. I did two changes to the previous video I just added a new included uh, file this is where we're gonna display the slider and just to make it simpler I made it another folder it's called functions and in it I added the slider that PHP and in it we're gonna doing we're gonna be doing a plugin and inside that plugin this is basically uh, like let me show you plugin plugin name WordPress codex so this is like the style that CSS this is the header requirements see you just need the plugin name so go back to functions I'm sorry it's a plugin I just added license and author version and the description is a plugin made to display uh, the latest post dynamically all right, so in that function, and I'm sorry, in that uh, file, we're gonna do something called a function just to register the slider. So let me just do that all over again. So I just made it called Ango Home Caruso Slider, which is gonna be an add function. We're gonna add the theme support of basically the post thumbnails, so we can get the images from the posts. So post thumbnail close it and then we're gonna register the post type which is gonna be a custom post type I'm trying to explain this as fast as I can by the way because it's a little bit of an advanced topic so we're gonna register the post type let's make it Ango Russell post again and then I'm gonna open an array inside that array we're gonna register basically the labels another array and inside that we're gonna basically be registering uh, I think I did something a little bit different no actually it is correct I just need to add this so in it is just a name and the angle slider all right and I also need to add the action and inside that we're gonna do the action of after set up the theme angle this is the function name I wrote before. There you go, home close slider. I'm just writing the same thing. I'm just trying to explain to you what's uh, changing. I'm gonna close that as well. All right. Uh, do you see this? This is basically if we make this in uh, false, and what this is also. Basically, we made a plugin, right? Am I correct? Like this is what we just did. We just made a plugin. So if you go to WP Admin, 
we go into all right just one second Watch that all right before wordpress 6.0 suppose if i make this uh, true uh, supposedly the the uh, like the plugin is supposed to be showing here with the menu icon of dash icons it's not showing right now so dash icons press icons let me just show you that yeah it's just icons to uh, for WordPress that's already in WordPress so we could like add a uh, plugin over here I do not I do not know why it's not showing right now. Uh, I did not install another plugin or whatever. So yeah, it's supposed to be here anyways. So regardless of this, let's just remove this code. But as you can see, I just explained the function itself. So basically, we're just registering the post, and what you need to focus on is this name, because this is where we're gonna be displaying the post in the page. So let me just remove this code. Push that and go into your include folder and then slider.php. Copy your favorite carousel from Bootstrap. Let's get this one for example. I'll go back to localhost. First then. All right, so it's working. I don't know if you can see it. it's working, but like the line is just going over there but anyways the thing is I wanted to show you this why I copied and pasted all of this I just wanted to show you the carousel before anything is added and let me show you if we just take out the this code and try to add it on top what's gonna happen so basically what I started doing in this gallery so I could show it it's a simple PHP uh, WordPress query I define a variable called Ango Carousel, and I started a new WordPress query, and I defined that there's going to be only three posts per page. Why I did that is basically because the slider only supports three slide, like three, uh, three images. Because if I go into my posts, if you could see here, they're already linked to my posts. Where's the posts? Test, test two, test three, test four. Uh, test four overrides test one because there's only three that's gonna work on the carousel. So you could see the name test three, test B, and test four. So test two is not showing as you can see here. Uh, let me just make sure. Now this is test B. So let's make it just test two. I just want to explain this to you guys. Uh, this was the purpose of the lesson. And this is test one. So this is the one that's not showing if you can notice. And test three. I already have that caption. And test four. Let's just add test four. Yeah, all right. So we'll go back to the slider page. So we got test three, test two. And test four three two and four but one is not showing because uh, I already defined three here but even if I define four let me just refresh that only three are gonna be shown so one So actually, like four is showing right now. Like as you can see, like the post per page, just the four are showing, but it's not working. The crucial stuff is not working because it only supports three. Because I'm not gonna add the indicator uh, logic for this. I'm just gonna make it three posts for now. First that. So yeah, at three it works, but at like four or more than that, it does not work because of the indicator. So after copying the example from Bootstrap 5, we're basically gonna add this PHP, like I said, define the WordPress query and then adding in the post per page, which is gonna be three for this carousel. If you're gonna make a different carousel, you could just 
uh, add how many numbers that depending on the styling that you're going to do and then you're going to open up an array with the custom post type that we added over here so you can see we registered this post type and in the registering the post type we're going to go back over here and display it so then we're going to do a value an incremented value variable why are we doing that because basically we're going to open up a while WordPress query uh, WordPress function I'm sorry a while function so we could increment that value and show if that value is more uh, is equal to one then basically show that value with the Caruso item uh, active so basically you're gonna show us this one that's gonna be active so as you can see like if I change this it shows us this is the active one if I go back here see it works so that's why we do this and then else just do the carousel item if it's not into equal one alright so if uh, it's not equal to one then basically just show the carousel item but not the active do not show the active alright and in it I added a href just for the post so we can go to the post page so as you can see here it's test2 for example uh, test3 so yeah, I just added the permanent link of the post itself, and then I echoed the title. I just uh, added a PHP tag with the title, and then I echoed the content. Uh, in WordPress, before WordPress 6, I used to do echo, uh, I'm sorry, it was called the thumbnail, just one second, the post thumbnail WordPress codex yeah the post thumbnail but if I do it right now it does not work so this gallery was supposed to be like with the post thumbnail but right now it does not work it's just gonna show off the text so for now until I find a new fix, it's just going to be echoing the content of the page. So whatever content you're going to do in this post, bear in mind that it's going to be just an image. Like whatever content else that you're going to add in the slider, uh, it's going to be shown over here as well. Like for example, let me just add a new post. Uh, let me add a gallery for example. Upload that. Just add a couple of images. Let's add them all, or let's just add them all. I just make you like I just want to explain to you guys what's happening over here. And let's make it post five, just to understand the uh, the numbering. So go into yeah. So as you can see, here, it's showing, and the slider also showing, but it's showing all the content that it's in a post you could do that if you'd like but what I'm basically trying to tell you is uh, I don't know why there's no post thumbnail right now for bootstrap uh, for I'm sorry for WordPress 6.0 which is a little bit weird I don't know what they changed to it but anyways we're just gonna be doing a content uh, echoing the content and inside that inside the post itself we're just gonna do an image and make sure that the width and height are the same and then do an align center for the image so upload an image or a media library you could just upload it so like this one and make it the same width and height as the other images what? All right. And yeah. Text. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, just center that. So let me delete the old one just to make sure. Test three.
so here it is so you just need to fit the images into here again until there is like a fix for that post thumbnail and let me just try to get like the post thumbnail as well echo fit the post thumbnail maybe that would work I hope it does yeah it's not gonna work so right now we're just gonna do the content and afterwards actually you're done there's nothing else you're gonna be doing right now in this page the buttons is already uh, done before just make sure that they're uh, like it just the IDs and everything is matching to the same IDs over here the buttons And that's it. That's basically how you make in uh, a simple custom WordPress plugin gallery for your WordPress website. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope I didn't take much of your time today. And all right. Good luck coding. Thank you for watching and have a nice and beautiful day.